Okay, so as we jump back in, uh, like I just said, uh, it's about 3.05 in the morning as Wiz or as uh, Bo uh, is, is um, escorted into a security room. Uh, just as the door closes, uh, Bo, the, Bo's connection to the DNI uh, abruptly ends uh, as he has just stepped foot in a Faraday room. Uh, could I? Could you reveal some of the map for me? There has. Um. I think we all are gonna see it if he does. Yeah. Give me a sec. What would be the best way of doing that? Isn't there a way to move individual players? Uh, you, if you'd they're have to on move different me pages. To another map, essentially. That, that's what I mean. Yeah. How do I move just a single player to a map? Uh, go you and drag and... their, um, yeah, their my name. name down there to the page you want them to be on. Okay, give me uh, give me one quick second to accommodate this. Is that a plus or a pro feature, or can anybody do that? I think anybody can do that, but I've only ever sure. done it while I'm while I've had a paid account. Now the next question is: It is it possible to clone? A, it is. Yes, I yeah. can. I see it right there. It says duplicate. How come Bo gets his own map? <laughs> I went through a lot of effort to put two maps on a page, and that didn't matter. I have to make another page. Uh, there's nothing here, Bo. Is there? Yeah, it's completely black for me. That's because you've been knocked out and bagged. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is the afterlife, Bo. Yeah, it's about what I expected. It's okay, I got a story, we'll get him back. We'll just say that he's infected, a vampire bit him, and they should return him back. Because he's carrying kudos or something. Actually, if I had the added power feign illness, I could <laughs> I could mimic the the symptoms. Weird. It's copying the page, but not the contents of the page. What a shame. That doesn't seem useful at all. Yeah, that's that's terribly unhelpful. Uh yeah, what the duplicate page was supposed to do was it it duplicates the attributes like the size of the map, your dynamic yeah, lighting if you exactly set up that kind of stuff, yeah. Well, that's fine. Can, you, can you copy paste over? Uh oh, I can kind of, yeah. All right, let me do it really quick cuz I I want I want to see if we can keep the integrity of of the unknown uh here, so we just one quick moment to to accommodate that. It's all good. I have faith in Bo. Uh, I'm going to go get the assault cannon, guys. You guys got five minutes. Oh, God. If you're getting the assault cannon, I'm, uh, I'm heading to the warehouse. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll head to the warehouse. Wait, wait. Yeah, whatever. I know. I, I'm going to send a text message to Redout. It's going to go like this. Uh, they've captured Bo. He's stuck in a, a train station. Uh, should I go as option B, rocket launcher, or option B, assault cannon? God, I don't know what I don't know what the new readout would say. I've, I only know how it's there. I haven't played with the new guy. Uh, knowing that he's still stuck in the CX territory, the, uh, it'll be like DDD, unable to locate individual. <laughs> Two weeks later, this is the option. Ooh, I went with option C. Sorry. All right, Bo. Ooh, what a cozy little room. Yeah, so keep uh, obviously keep the information inside to yourself. Uh, it is also just a picture, so don't try to move. Um, and we are going to communicate in whispers. Okay, so you want me to talk to Whisper, and then Whisper will talk to you? <laughs> yes, Whisper will be our uh, intermediary. He's our ace in the hole. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Is that a troll over there? Holy crap, why is there a dragon in here? Yeah, it was a really tight fit, and they can't get him out. Um, okay, so uh, we'll obviously accommodate things to the fact that Bo and I have to... I'm going to step up for tight, a minute. I'll but, be right back. Sure. Uh, but, but beyond that, uh, I think Arachne stood up. Uh, Arachne, Mark is coming with you. Oh, is he? Okay. I, I think I have a plan for this. I go over help you carry. Hey, hey, miss, look, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I was really mean. But uh, then I point to this guy next to me. Um, this guy kind of thinks you're cute and all that. And I figured you two need some alone time. She is and I was so... as hell. And, and he just <laughs> keeps walking with you. <laughs> Funky town, I got your damn stalker somehow. Yeah, so so I mean, you you walk outside, and and he walks outside with you. There, there's not there's not more than a, a foot away from him that you are. Huh. Okay, this guy's a love sick puppy. Interesting. Um, I will take him outside somewhere where it's nice, dark, and cozy, oh and God. chuck the golf hell out of him. Uh, yeah, so like, so as you walk, you're walking. He's still just telling you a story, um, it, something Steve did last summer, and it was just stupid as can be. And and yeah, I mean, like he's not really asking any questions. So like, you just sort of you get into the parking lot, and you know, you look to your left and your right. And there, I mean, there's an alleyway, uh, not really an alley, but sort of there, there's around the side of the building uh, before the actual rail, the rails themselves, or along the rails. You know, you could you could potentially go stand over near there. Uh, yeah, you know, if it looks like it's quiet, there's no one there, we'll, we'll go over there. We'll have a little chat. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll me a, a, a visual perception. Um, to sort of take in your surroundings as you get out there. Um, it's probably at a minus six due to the, uh, uh, the light levels at the moment. Uh, will that affect my low light and thermal graphic? Oh, okay. Uh, with low light, I think, is that ha reduce it by half? Uh, we'll, we'll say it rounds to a minus two. Minus okay. I think it increases the light category one step. Yeah, I, I can't remember if if total darkness jumps to three or if it goes. Oh, I, if it's I total, remember. it might not actually do anything. I guess it wouldn't be total. You're, you're probably right to begin with. What about limits? What about what? Oh, nothing. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean you can you can see a train coming in, uh, but there's not there's nobody else sort of standing around. Okay, that looks like my, uh, a good time. So yeah, he's chatting away, blah 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 blah. He's got like a pack of cigarettes in his hands, and he's he's kind of tapping the pack, and you know he puts one up to his lips, and he he kind of starts uh, pulling up another one like halfway up the pack, and he kind of like reaches his arm out towards you as if you you know offering you a cigarette. Okay, I could use that. So I wait for him to bring his arm to me, and then it's gonna follow up with a ninjutsu chop. <laughs> You're gonna cut his arm off? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna take his arm off. I'm just gonna hit him with a with a ninjutsu strike with a shock glove and see if I can knock him out. Okay. And then we'll just take care of him so <laughs> Yeah. Boy. Know, definitely. Uh, yeah, he probably never saw this coming tonight. I I'm the GM. I didn't see this coming tonight. So no, that's fine. Uh, just, just go ahead and roll the unarmed attack to ensure, you know, catastrophic failure doesn't happen. But I, th I think it's safe to say that, as a professional shot runner, we can, we can, you know, incapacitate a unexpecting, trusting, loving, caring young man. I think we can knock that are, out. Are you trying to make me feel bad? <laughs> <laughs> a man who is willing to share his soda and his cigarettes with you people. Hey, uh, I'm doing this all to protect his marriage. That's that's the story I'm going with. So I'm sticking with it. Uh, what's the shock love again? Oh yeah, this should put him up nicely. Yeah, I mean he's 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 completely unaware that this is coming. So we're just, we're just we're just fishing for a for a crit glitch. Otherwise, we're we're pretty sure this is gonna work. Crit glitch? That's not gonna happen. Oh, definitely not gonna happen. No, no, it does not. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, you. He's dead. You actually, you actually say Judo chop as as you you perform and and you go like, huh and, ah and then he's just gone and, and there's a bit of a zap. Uh, you can smell the you know burnt hair and uh, and and he just he just he actually has like a weird moment where like you're you're pretty sure he's been knocked out, but he still manages to like the cigarettes go flying. A hand raises to his forehead in desperation as he spirals and turns towards you with his back falling backwards. And and he he seems to have stage fainted, uh, due to the uh, due to the zap. That's what you get for uh, giving me the finger. And I walk away. Yeah, and, it, and you just hear a hollow sound as his head hits the concrete. Since you didn't catch him. Nah, you know, didn't need to catch him. Okay, so we'll just put him somewhere where he's out of sight, and we'll head towards my bike. Okay. Yeah, you you take a take him under the armpits and. Sort of drag him a little bit further uh, in the alleyway near the tracks, and and leave him, and then head to your bike now. Un, um, <laughs> unfollow. Uh, Funky okay, Town, so... you've you've found uh, essentially security protocol documents. Uh, you found access points for the security rooms themselves. Uh, however, you know, mysteriously missing is a lot of the security equipment. Uh, that you you would imagine is probably located in these rooms. It's probably dawning on you just as Bo disconnects that whatever is being held in these rooms is is essentially off the grid. Okay. What about um? Hmm. You even see a counter. Uh, oh no, you wouldn't see that yet. Never mind. Send a message to everybody and say uh, I can't get in to the security rooms. Okay, we got a problem then because we ha no longer have any communication with Bo, and I think he's been compromised. But it's part of his plan to get arrested and find out where he is. Has Should I... a security guard next to Longs? It is. Yeah, he came out of the room just as you were sitting down. It is now just sort of standing there. Uh, he's 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 obviously watching you. Should I also mention that um, time is ticking away on this part of the plan where we said if this takes too long, some of us need to head to that warehouse? Um, yeah, why don't you go ahead and go? Okay, so what are we going to do? I'll save Bo. Uh, it's hard, hard to tell over D and I. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. I'm being very optimistic. Ooh, skull and bones. I think I might hit him too hard. <laughs> um, Loxley is going. So, so Loxley, as I said before, was pretending to make a phone call, and he was pretending to talk to his boss. And uh, he's been saying, you know, like telling them what's what's just saying the words of what's been going on, and then pausing and being like, yes, sir, no, sir, that sort of thing. Uh, and like every so often, glancing at the security guard, and uh, and then at the end, he'll be like, I'll I'll I'll, I'll try, sir, and uh, he'll uh, like look to the security guard and say, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Um, yeah, the security guard is paying attention to you. He does not right. respond. So, um, like, my, my boss really wants to know what's going on with, with my, my other boss in there. It's like, is he, is he under arrest or are you just holding him? Like, my, my boss is, is really angry and he wants, wants to know what's going on and, and, and wants to get him released if possible. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't want to bother you, but I, I don't want to lose my job. Um, yeah, the guard. The guard actually. The guard actually unfolds his arms and actually walks and, and sort of stands in front of you. Um, a little bit more of a passive uh, posture. And he says, um, uh, son, do you want to tell me who your boss is? 
Um, Mr. Mr. Hardman, I, I work for for uh, Pierce Hardman Slate and Flom. There's a oh, small uh, firm so specializing in bird law. Like what the hell is that? Um, he's nodding his head along, um, and he's actually taken out a uh, um, a terminal, uh, a, a data pad, and and is is writing some things down. He says. Um, Oh, sorry. What what was the name that you gave him? You said Hartman. Uh, Hardman. Hardman. Yeah. Uh, he says he says. All right, all right. Um, do you know where this was? Uh, this Mister Hardman can be found, uh, or or contacted. Funky Town. Oh, is it too much to hope that I put my my own com number on the website? If you would have liked to have put your own con number on this website, I will allow you to have done that. Okay. Also, will say I, I'm not. I mean, I, I can't give out the personal his personal number, but it's there's a number on the website you can call, or matrix site, trick site, whatever. The <laughs> whatever this, yeah, whatever the people call it now. Um, okay. Whatever the kids are saying these days. <laughs> right. Oh no, Greg's here. Um. Okay. And 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 he asked you some other some other questions that you know like law enforcement and things would ask he wants he wants to know your name he asks for uh the name of the, uh, the person that you were here with uh you, you would know as a sixth worlder a lot of this is, is just courtesy um obviously you're broadcasting a sin right now correct yeah yeah so yeah. so you know you 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 give up that information willingly i assume since he, he's really just asking as a courtesy um, yeah and yeah, that he's gonna he's gonna ask you for the for the the matrix details. And yeah, he's gonna go ahead and um, what's he gonna do? He's going to um, he's gonna over say, DNI before yep. he he goes to make this call because I know it's coming. Uh, Loxley is going to warn Funky Town. Uh, you're gonna get a call from a security guard. Do your best to sound annoyed and uh, upset. That uh, one of your uh, one of your employees has been uh, arrested for just doing his job, and maybe suggests that the security guard should do his job and let him talk to Captain Harris. Send a thumbs up emoji back. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, you know, a, a few minutes go by as these questions are asked and answered. Um, he seems very polite. And, and very happy that you're you're cooperating. Uh, roll me a con check. As as nothing about what you just said was true in any capacity. While that part of things is going on, uh, Funky Town has already gotten out of off the matrix and is uh, as is in the process of spooling up his data cable, sending a DNI to everybody, saying, "Who's coming with me to the warehouse? I'm leaving now." Oh shit! Uh, right before, well, no, you guys can go to answer that because this is as you're logging off. Unfortunately, that's only nine hits. But I can... <laughs> nice roll, though. Um. Okay. Is anybody gonna? Is anybody going to volunteer to to answer Funky Town's message? But I is it uh. You can head out, but don't we want to make sure Bo can get out? He hasn't done his job yet. One person should come with me so we can start working on this. Everybody else needs to keep working on Bo. Oh, uh, well, mm -hmm. there's not a lot I can do about the inside of the room unless I'm inside that room. Um, if I'm not so sure that we want to be uh, going in hard trying to get that trying to get anybody out of there. Uh, there might be another option. Um, really quick, is this a window? It is. It is. It looks into the the train depot itself. Yeah. Hmm. Either way, expecting that he might be getting a phone call and not wanting to be in the same large room with the person that might be calling him, he Funky Town's going to head and stand outside and let everybody know. I'll be outside for a few minutes. Uh, we need to make a decision here quick. Funky Town, when you switch into AR, uh, there's a teenager about six inches away from your face. 
Ooh, uh, hmm. Uh, whoa. Oh, you, oh, you're, you're awake. What was he doing? Uh, nothing. What, what were you doing? What? I, I'm going to look at the guy. What What was he doing? Just looking at me? Yeah, so he's, he's, he's crouched down. His friend is, is standing with his back towards you, sort of looking outward towards the the nearest crowds. Uh, he himself is, is sort of crouched right in front of you, um, on on bent at the knees. Uh, his hands sort of retract. You're not really sure where they come from. And, and he's just sort of looking at you, sort of accusatory. Like, seriously, I saw that. Like, I know what you were doing. So I'm going to, I tell him, I look right into his face and I say, open your, I say, empty your pockets. Empty your pockets? Or I'll empty tell security. Empty your fragging pockets. You don't think I know? I saw it. And he, and he moves your bag and, and the, the cable is, is revealed that's connected from wherever you're hitting your cyber deck to, uh, to the, to the back of the, the, the station. Um, does he have a comm link on him? Uh, yeah. You can see his it, it's icon. Uh, I want to see. I want to. Hmm. I think Funky Town. I'm I'm judging Funky Town's fight or flight with this kid. Yeah. So so he's. I'll describe him. He's, he's he looks like he's probably 17, 18 years old. He's a, a human male. Um, he has he has uh, short black hair. Um, he's he's got a mustache. Uh, he, he looks, he looks about average built. Uh, it's sort of hard to tell the features. He's wearing a a brown, uh, sort of baggy hoodie, uh, a pair of cargo pants. Uh, He's he's got dirty red sneakers on and, and he, and he kind of, he kind of has that look like a, yeah, I got you, man. Now you owe me, like you owe me everything kind of look, you know, the expression that kids have. Right. Uh, Funky Town is going to data spike his comm link first. (laughs) Okay. Uh, much in the way that Arachne, uh, you know, nearly killed an innocent man. Uh, go ahead and just roll me a data spike, and uh, we're we're fishing for critical glitches here. Wait, you need someone taken care of again? I'm on my way. <laughs> this comes as that's karate chopping everyone. <laughs> oh, I still have Loxy's con. Oh no, that's right. You got nine hits today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's enough. <laughs> it wouldn't. He's not. He doesn't have a, 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 like a persona displayed or anything. It's just a device. Um, it's a persona, in in the same way that everybody's AR persona is displayed when they're connected. I have a cyber combat specialty for personas. Would that count in this? Ooh, gosh, yeah. When it when a, a matrix. When a user is logged on to a device, it replaces the device with the persona. Yes, you are you are attacking the persona. Six hits. Okay. Yeah. You. Um. You know what? What's what's your data spike looks like? What what is Funky Town's data spike? Uh, look like on the matrix as you lash out at this this child he funky town is still kind of in that place where he hasn't figured out like who he you know he hasn't figured out what he his matrix presence looks like now that he's a shadow runner so he has a very um generic looking almost like elongated uh uh like it looks like this blocky kind of lance that's just very generic looking, not very flashy or anything, but it's it's a it's a long, blocky, thin, sharp lance. Cool. Um, yeah, and as as it pierces through the persona, it, it flickers and dissipates um, in in meat space. You know, we watch as as he's kind of uh, again explaining, like, yeah, I know, I know that you're you're doing something bad because this. He uh, he sort of yelps a little bit. And, and you can actually, you, you, you hear it, but it's muffled as the front pocket on his hoodie uh, sort of sparks and it actually catches fire just, just a little bit. He's not like in a blaze, but, uh, but the sparks sort of hit the cotton uh, of his hoodie and, and there's a bit of a fire there and he falls backwards onto his butt uh, instead of being crouched over you um, and, and kind of yelps out loud as his friend sort of is startled and turns to look to see what's happening. 
And so Funky Town also is going to put one foot down on like his pants leg on the ground or like the sleeve of his jacket or something so that he's stepping on it and he's going to look down and he's going to very seriously um, with kind of like an authoritative, like, like Funky Town's a father. Okay. And he's talking to a kid and, uh, and he's very much seeing the, this guy as like a really like, like annoying upstart punk kid right now. And, uh, and he steps on his jacket and he looks down and he says, you're going to leave because you don't need to be here at whatever, like one thirty in the morning. And you don't need to be messing with and dealing with anybody who might be doing whatever the hell it is that I might have been doing. You're going to leave now because you're not going to like what's going to happen if you don't. Cool. Um, we're going to roll an intimidation check. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna quickly look at the modifiers here as you've uh, you've done some things. Yeah, he doesn't have intimidation. Uh, <laughs> right. No, we normally don't when we try to make these uh, these points. Uh, just, but that's okay. just show him a picture of a rat and say she'll come for you. <laughs> the less intimidate you have, the harder you try. Right. I'm describing how it works. It's exactly true. Uh, yeah, actually, through through your actions uh, and, and the situation as it is, uh, you're going to roll your charisma minus one plus a total of five. Okay. As this kid sort of looks up and he's got that that facial expression of of you know uh, a child, and and he's he's sort of searching inside of him for if he can find something to like, grasp onto and sort of just regain the upper hand in this. How do we feel about three hits? I feel all right with three. And uh, and, and he kind of scurries uh, back a little bit, patting his, his friend, sort of just staring, and, and his jaw kind of open. Uh, the, the kid you're speaking to kind of pats at his hoodie and puts out the, the bit of a fire and, and scurries back a few steps before sort of rolling over onto his knees, uh, onto his feet. And, and just bolting, and he kind of knocks into his friend, uh, who, who starts laughing, and uh, and says, whiz, and, and, and kind of uh, scurries to, to chase after his friend. And, and the two of them sort of jog out of the uh, the train station. Funky Town is like, you know, he's, he's definitely feels completely justified in what he did and uh is not like was not in the in the moment like you know in a worried kind of reaction he was just like who the frag is this kid think he is and as he as he like sh you know like re straightens his you know uh business coat <laughs> he um starts to walk towards the front like he was going to anyway and he just mutters probably over dni even uh fragging kids these days <laughs> sure yeah and there's there's no sign of those kids as you get towards the front they seem to have have bolted uh the one kind of jabbing at his friend the entire time uh arachne whisper how we how we doing i'm awake uh well i got my ballistic mask and now i'm watching time and I'm hoping Bo will go out within five or ten minutes, or we're coming in hot. Or we're heading to the other side. I have complete and total faith in Bo being able to achieve uh, what he needs to do. Should I do a leadership role and let him know? <laughs> do you need to inspire yourself? <laughs> and to inspire Bo. Uh, Bo. Bo is currently out of, uh, out of reach. You, you do not yep. know of... of his current situation. There's no communication. But Whisper's feelings are just so strong that he can <laughs> he sense it. A yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, just the thought of Whisper out there having faith in Bo should be inspiring. The new Bo, every Bo gets uh, faith uh, in them. There's so many, but apparently the faith can be given to all. Uh, I'm hanging. Uh, when is the next train coming? Uh, it is about three o nine, so you've got six minutes. 
Yep. I'm going to be at those platforms kind of look like I'm kind of waiting for the train to get near before I head out to the platform. There's like a sign thing or is a light? What's those blue bars? The blue um, bars are, are windows that uh, that look into the train depot itself, uh, where a couple of the the platforms are are filled and a few most of them are empty. Two people waiting patiently on that side of yeah. the uh, of the terminal. Um, but there's the ones inside where the is are those platform signs? Uh, yeah, right. Those those are are essentially These? details. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at that. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Just just being you. Yeah, you you can see whisper. You can actually see through the the clear display. Uh, not whisper, sorry. You can you can see cl through the clear display, and you can see Loxley uh, uh, currently feeding information to a, a a guard who's got a um a terminal out or a, a handheld terminal, and is is writing down things and sort of nodding along with with Loxley. Yep, and we're all patiently waiting, just like everybody else. Sure, let me resolve this with Bo shortly, and then, uh, Rackney, you've got your gear. I assume you're coming back in, or are you gonna are you gonna wait and like put it on and go kind of thing? Yeah, pretty much, because I don't want to come in wearing a ballistic mask and we're like, huh? I wonder what she's up to. <laughs> you, just, you come in whistling, just have a seat, carry like a, a hockey bag in front of you. Uh, yeah, so so about five minutes have gone by. Uh, it's it's currently three ten. Uh, Bo has been out of contact with you guys for five minutes at this point. Um, I'm still resolving some stuff with him though. So what's the plan, guys? Uh, I'm I'm really worried about this warehouse thing. Uh, I think. Okay. I mean, I'm okay with you heading out, but if we go have to act here be really useful if somebody can uh cover us with the footage i think we'll be okay but uh Frag it. um okay call okay i'll uh i'll hang out here with arachne okay so everybody's gonna stay at the train station uh, well, unless you guys want to forcibly go get them, I can give you um, a thermal grenade, stick it in the bathroom. <coughs> when that causes commotion, we can hit the security office, but like I said, then we have to worry about videotapes afterwards. Well, we'll give Loxley a chance to do his business. Loxley hasn't gone in, right? He's still talking with a the guard there, right? Yeah. It's about this time that uh, uh, Funky Town, your comlink rings. Um, I, okay. I gather myself and say, uh, answer it and deliberately clear my throat. <clears throat> Hello? He says, uh, well, you can tell me, I suppose. Is he identifying you as Mr. Hannigan, Mr. Cox, or Mr. Bennett? Oh, I see what you're asking. Definitely not Mr. Bennett. He would, he's probably uh, Cox. Okay. He says, Mr. Cox, I apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, my name is... Um, Henry Fluitzer. I'm of Cypress Security Solutions. I understand it's early in the morning, but I have a couple of questions to ask you in relation to an event that's taking place currently. Um, do you have a moment of time? I mean, I, I guess I do. I'm in bed at home, uh, so I'm not exactly doing anything else right now. What is this about? I, again, I apologize. Uh, we have a couple of individuals here claiming that you are one hard man. Um, have you ever been involved with the uh, law firm of... i got to find it again. Uh, Pierce, Hardman, Slate, and Flom? 
yes, yes, Hardman. That's that's me. Um, yes, that is me. That's a, an alias I use for the law firm. I've, I'm working on, and it, it, the details aren't important in my personal life. Um, yes, that's me. <laughs> and you can see he's kind of a little shocked. Oh, um, okay. You exist. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of a fragging question is that? Who who am I? You said you're with security where now? Um all right, roll me you're gonna have to roll me a con to to put him on the defensive. Goodness. Did Loxley's prep help at all? It, it did, it did. I'm gonna let Loxley assist. Um you had you had nine hits. Um Yeah. Uh, this is, of course... Are you using that, or do you want me to roll again? If you have leadership, I would let no. that help. Um, um, no, I don't have leadership yet. You guys, and not having skills. Not you, but the fact that everybody's trying to help Funky Town do things he doesn't have skills in. Yeah. <laughs> I have complete and total faith in Funky Town. You can do it, Funky Town. Because you're smart. I, I will allow Whisper to try to, to save the situation <laughs> and, and roll her leadership. I'm going to give uh, I'm going to give you a plus two uh, in addition to whatever she rolls here for Loxley um, creating plausible sounding evidence. Oh. Whisper's kind of phoning it in. Everybody can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that'll be your charisma minus one plus three. Oh boy. Um. Okay. How do I roll a uh, exploding sixes? <laughs> if you want to pre-edge, you're going to go ahead and add your edge value, um, which is right, three. Right. So that'll be a, a total of plus five after all the modifiers. And then at the end of the equation, where you put... Oh, Whisper, that was greater than six. Oh, but it was only one hit anyway. Um, uh, where you would put greater than five. After the five, put an exclamation point. Oh. Damn it. So I got, I got my charisma plus three, and then now I'm doing plus my three edge. Okay, hold on. Yeah, all of it explodes. You know, the first roll was still only one. There were no five. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw. I was hoping I could be like, oh, no, you had 19 hits, but no. Well, there we go. Okay. Funky Town is not uh, cut out to lie. He's, he's trying to be an honest man. I know that now. <laughs> and, um, and then I need you, well, how would that at work? No, it wouldn't. Not yet. Um, he says, uh, absolutely. I, I understand, sir. I apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, is there any way that you could come down to uh, King Street <laughs> Station to answer a few questions? Are you, are you kidding me? It's, it's across it's town. A few of your employees, uh, associates, we believe may um, need your assistance. And, and and you can you can hear now like he's kind of fumbling to try to like figure out the right words. It's It's pretty obvious. He might not be buying this, and he might be trying to prod you. Have do they have they used any names that I have heard? Your your two teammates. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm sure you're aware of um, either. Well, <laughs> I L Loxley denied him his name. That's right. You called yourself Robin. Yeah, and if the just because. Um, Bo called me Bartholomew earlier. I would obviously explain that away. But my boss is a <laughs> dick and can't even bother to. Oh yeah, that was a hundred. That was intentional. I was That's, like, I, "What's a I, really I crappy it. name that I, <laughs> I don't even know this guy's name?" Yeah, no. I think they. All, I think they all. They all bought buy in on the fact that Bo's a dick and he hates hates Loxley, uh, and that Loxley hates him. Um, uh, is Robin um, the name on your sin? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, uh, Wayland is the name on Bo's current sin, and he's been broadcasting that the whole time, so I can't yep. see why. No, yeah, uh, you, you guys have. You wouldn't see that. So, so you you know there is a Wayland and a Robin, 
uh, within your party. So I'll say, is this about is this about the Robin and Waylon crack duo that was sent out to deal with uh, some person down there? This this is uh, this is some information that I we we would love to. Would you mind speaking to my supervisor? <sighs> um. I, okay. I guess. Okay. And and wait, he's talking with an eye shot or with an earshot of Robin, right? Uh, he is. Yeah, he's kind of got like his back half turned to you. All he's right. Still, he still has an eye on you, but Loxley's going to keep with his D and high coaching and just r- remind uh, Funky Town, you don't have time for this shit. You are trying to sleep. Right. He's gonna hold up a finger towards uh, not 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 the finger, but just a finger towards Loxley, and say, um, uh, "Please stay where you are. Uh, I'll I'll be just a moment." And he begins to walk um, towards the other security. Room. Look, Mister, what's your name? Shit, Mister right, Shit. Mr. shit. <laughs> I gave a perfect name before. Um. I don't remember. God damn it, this is recorded and they're going to remember. He he tells you his name. His name is uh uh Fred. All right. Listen, Fred. Uh I my wife is in the other room right now and she's really irritated about what's going on here. I can't be deal I can't deal with this right now. Um I don't know those. If it's those two, I, I understand you can't tell me. If it's those two, there are a couple of bumbling idiots that they probably made themselves blustering in, acting like they're way more important than they really are. But we sent them out there, and and because they're the only people we could get to do anything this late at night, and uh, and they're they're way less incompetent than they act. I promise. Roll me your intuition and firewall. Oh, Jesus. And he's he's keeping pace. Um, he's he's explaining how it's it's. Uh, most certainly just a, a minor inconvenience and and these two they they've they've done a bit of disturbing of the peace and if if you're willing to um vouch for them that they'd love to resolve this matter privately and they just need somebody to, to come down and and take um take responsibility and and see that they're safely removed from the premises um again uh you you get the impression through his tone of voice that uh, he's he's sort of fibbing or, or essentially um, uh, coaxing you. All right. Well, then I, he'll say, um, he'll say, well, okay, frag it, fine. I'll be there. And I hang up. Okay. And I... Tell Arachne standing next to me. Uh, well, this isn't going well. Mm, okay, so you want the real grenade or the thermal? I would prefer not to kill anybody. Mm, thermal it is. <laughs> so did I see him hang up the phone? Uh, he actually walked away, and, and he walked into the far right security room. And oh, okay. is is no longer visible to you. What kind of locks on this door? Uh, well, that looks like a fingerprint scanner. Wonderful. What do you think uh, would be an appropriate role, if any, to to decide if I can't decide if Funky Town would would think to be like, oh, maybe I should turn this device off real fast for a little bit. It's a, it's a totally reasonable reaction to what just happened. The man identified you by your name. He yeah, was, yeah, He yeah. was very obviously trying to keep you on the line. Uh, you might even do a matrix perception on yourself, and for a yeah. moment you realize that you have a mark on a device you don't remember having a mark on, 
uh, Ted has actually been tugging at your sleeve for a few minutes, uh, trying to trying to <laughs> oh, yeah, tell Ted. you, uh, that, hey, uh, somebody has a mark on you. Somebody has a mark. Or, excuse me, you have a mark on somebody. Somebody tried to mark you, and you have a mark on them. Somebody has a mark that they tried okay. to put on you, and you have a. Thanks, oh, it's thanks gone. Ted. It's, that I... went, it went away. It's gone now. Great. Good job. Oh, and I I turn off the device for a moment. <laughs> sure. Funky down disconnects from your DNI. And then he comes back. <laughs> I send over D and I, look, guys, we need to decide what we're going to do right now. Well, what'd you tell the guy? Did you, did you tell him to frag off? And I told him I'd be was... down there when I could, but, you know, I told him I lived across town, too. Why is one of the partners of the law firm going to come down to bail out two screw ups? Because I, I, he was, they, they were marking me. <laughs> okay, look, if they're marking you, the gig is up. Lots of, like, in DNI, so it's in text. It's just the word sigh with, like, ten eyes. Um, I don't know. Like, why would they try to trace your location if they thought you were legit? That's an excellent point. Like, Boo might be missing two fingers by now. So this is what I suggest. Here's a thermal grenade. Here's another thermal grenade. Go into the washrooms, pop them in, give them a five-second fuse. When the security guards go out to check out what's happening, we go in, we get what we need, and we get out. Funky Town chuckles a little bit as if he thinks Arachne's joking. And then realizes she's serious. <laughs> Unless you guys have another idea on how we can uh, evacuate Bo and uh, Mr. Harris. All right, Arachne, don't ask me if you should use a grenade. Uh, I think it's time to rescue Bo. See? Even Whisper agrees. And, <laughs> okay, when that happens and he actually agrees with me, it's like the moons and the planets and Saturn and everything is aligned. We can't let this opportunity go. I think Arachne literally means just a Saturn as in like the car. Yes. Well, the other ones are cars too. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. fair. What's the play, boys and girls? Okay. Have, let's let's put it in perspective for a moment here. Uh we we know what the job is. We know we know that there's job a job happening in two locations. Time is obviously critical. We know that Bo uh, Bo has attempted to con his way into meeting with the the captain. Uh, Loxley was there firsthand to know that that didn't go great. Uh, however, they are pretty sure. Oh, I'd like to say he successfully conned his way into meeting I, I the was, captain. I was getting to that, although because of the commanding voice, they they are pretty confident that they. Uh, may be in the same room as the captain. That might be a safe assurance. Um, however, uh, 20 minutes have, has gone by. Uh, yeah, uh, Funky Town, I rolled a composure to see if Funky Town could work up the nerve to do this. Um, but uh, Funky Town says, uh, frag it! And he grabs both of the thermal grenades from Arachne and start, puts them in, his po in each hand and puts one hand in each pocket of his coat and starts to walk inside. Arachne, how do you respond? Um, I look at Senso. I'm proud of him. You're proud of him too? Yeah. No, if he gets shot, I'll feel bad though. So Funky Town is going to go into one bathroom and like in a stall, put one of the grenades on, on a toilet and set a timer for like, uh, I don't know, 45 <laughs> seconds, a minute, and then set a, uh, the same timer on his AR display 
walk into the other bathroom and whatever amount of time is left, he's going to put that on the second one and then <laughs> start walking um, towards the front again. Um, in the adrenaline that is now coursing through this man's body, um, how much of this does he relay to his team? Well, once he, uh, he, he says uh, when he's on the way in, he, well, once he puts the first one down he, and he's on the way to the other bathroom, he says, uh, he says, um, send, he like sends a dis everybody the timer, like how much is left on the time. And he says, you got this much time before things first, before things go to Drek. Loxley tries to remember how to open a fingerprint scanner without a fingerprint. Uh, no, like they're. I'm hoping what I meant by that is they're going to open the door to come out to see what all this fire is about. Well, Hopefully they don't pay too much attention to you, and I just need you to keep it open slightly. <laughs> just don't let it lock if you can. I'm going to do that, probably. Okay. And depending on how much second is on the timer, I'm going to start hitting in when there's about two seconds left. Oh, and I somehow walked into the security office. I was going to put you here since you're you're essentially trying to to make a play with Loxley for the door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Whisper is where Whisper is, waiting for the smoke. Uh, Bo, I believe we're mostly resolved. Yeah. Um. Okay. Funky Town, as he leaves the other bathroom, starts walking, you know, towards where the security office would be. His head, you know, down. He's walking very, you know, briskly. He's kind of like in, he's psyched himself up into the zone here. And he's, and, uh, and, uh, and he says to uh, adjust some things on his cyber deck. And he says, uh, he says, you got my back, Ted. Uh, what is your, what is your current array look like? Like, what do you build? What do you build for? Attack. Okay. Um, Ted's going to be like, uh, full disclaimer, um, Bo's not really good at the attack, but, um, uh, yeah, we can do this. Funky Town nods and he says, yeah, we can do this. And, and you Sounding get a, more like he's convincing himself. <laughs> right. Yeah, and I think you hear kind of like a softer, like, yeah, yeah, we can do this. Like, like Ted is also trying to convince himself, like in the same, the same kind of. Uh, uh, I like Ted. And and yeah, you you get about to where you are now, um, as as smoke, uh, begins to um, fume under the doors and and out into, uh, into the area, um. I imagine that probably sets off some some smoke detectors that are are in the the bathroom. And um, gosh, yeah, things are gonna happen. Uh, the door is gonna open, and the dragon will step out. No, and uh, ah. you guys, you guys, you, I mean, you guys are watching. You're waiting. You're gonna you're gonna be able to see into the room. Um, so I'm cool. I'm cool with revealing it now. We can all play on the same game again. I realize that I've just left Bo staring at a screenshot of just that room this entire time. Well, he is in the cell. Yeah. It's role well, I don't No, that's what you think. This is it's so nice in here, guys. There was a fruit uh, fruit salad uh, thing, like a, one of those things where you can make your own fruit salads, and Bo. there was like a, a soda fountain. Somebody's Bo, heads could, exploding. Bo, they could see fun. everything. Oh, no, no, sorry, that was the confused. Just for the record, I was five minutes away from going back to Louis, getting my package, and coming back with it. <laughs> Great. Um, so yeah, you guys see uh, on the left side of this room is a long metal bench, manacles um, uh, laying loosely, uh, unconnected, uh, near Bo. Um, uh, further down the bench, you see a man meeting the captain's description, who is manacled to the bench. Uh, standing about in a cramped room, you see several security officers, uh, one of who open, whom opened the door blocks your view and is um, sort of walking past briskly um, in the direction of, of the distraction. Uh, the door on oh, an no. automatic soon closing is, is beginning to close. Yeah. As soon as the door opens, I am going to yell in my commanding voice to the other three guards inside, Run! 
Funky Town also is going to be like furiously looking for using perception and everything, looking for um, things of interest like uh, icons for guns and maybe cyber eyes or or vision stuff. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and roll initiative. I think here. Now let me just clear these vampires and uh, hounds off the initiative tracker. Uh, flashbacks. Terrible flashbacks. So if you guys would select your tokens, use the initiative button, and then yeah, we'll uh, we'll resolve some of this stuff. Whoops. You actually forgot to make those sixes explode, Bo. Yeah, I know. I'm doing that manually. Forgot to select my token. My bad. Uh, it's alright. I can add yourself a turn here. Then you can just go ahead and punch in the number. Okay. Uh, boo -doo -doo, how do I want to do that? Uh, Bo, roll me a surprise. We'll uh, we'll we'll leave it up to chance. Uh, if you can if you can hit the surprise uh, threshold, then uh, then we can get that that commanding voice off now. Otherwise, it'll it'll probably fall on your turn. Or on your pass, rather. Would you let me use combat sense? Uh, oh, um, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I love when we start drawing ten meter circle. <laughs> These are the people I will kill today. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you you get you get to make the surprise check. Isn't that all combat sense is doing? Is allowing you to to roll the perception to see if you get the notice the surprise. No, the way combat sense works, or the way it's worded, is if you succeed on the perception test, you are not surprised. You are alerted. Cool. Uh, that's fair. You saw the guy get up. There was probably a bit of chatter, um, in all honesty, about like. Oh, the smoke detectors are going off. Oh gosh, both smoke detectors are going off, and the one kind of stands up and and uh, walks br briskly out. Um, so yeah, all right, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and resolve that first, then before the the combat actually starts, or the combat turn. Uh, remind me again that was intuition and willpower as the resist. Yeah, with a plus two, and I only got three hits, so probably not going to work anyway. <laughs> Obviously, spending a point of edge from my my pool here, and uh, what was the command? Quick run. Yeah, well, I wanted uh, I, my, the command was run, but I was hoping to like kind of mix it in with something else, some just like garbled words, like uh, gotta run a law firm, and here I'm just sitting here, like just being like pretending to be uh, disgruntled. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. The. Uh, sort sort of the sort of the raising of your voice, which I assume kind of uh, like uh, I guess it doesn't have to come with commanding shout, even 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 though that's the name of the ability. Um, yeah, the the message obviously falls on deaf ears, and the one just kind of turns and says, uh, "Please stop talking, or I'll put the cuffs on." And then we uh, we'll we'll jump into initiative here before we have a chance to respond. So Arachne, uh, the door is still closing. Okay, um, so let's head over here. Uh, do these guys have their back towards me? Uh, one of them does. This one here is currently seated and is directly facing Bo, which is also kind of in looking in your direction. And this guy here is almost like 
looking straight at you as as you would move towards the door. Are these guys armed? Uh, they are. Yeah, they they've got um, holsters on their hips. Uh, the two standing actually have rifles slung uh, across their back. Um, uh, they're, they're actually probably both holding them since they're in the situation they're in. Uh, this guy who's sitting, so he doesn't really see me. Is his hands like on the keyboard? No, he's 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 turned and faced towards Bo. His hands are are sort of just folded in front of him on his lap. Oh, okay, perfect. He shouldn't see this coming then. I'm gonna whip his uh, his basically his hands right to his <laughs> his lap. Okay. Uh, is that just a normal defense check? Um, if he doesn't see it coming, um, yeah. I, I don't think they get a defense. So as long as I get one hit, his hands are now glued. Yeah, I I like it. Yeah, you. Um, so so essentially, what I'm what, what's going to happen is this is this is your. It's fine. It, it happens. So you yeah you you aim you fire and and as as the doors is in the process of swinging closed, you uh, you you connect this shot. And uh, and it lands right on point. His hands uh, grappled essentially to his to his waist. And then, as I guess as a quick movement, I'm just going to stick like my foot in the door type thing. Um, that that is where I'm going to draw the line. The action is oh, okay. essentially to take the shot. Uh, in order to hold the door open, will probably be a simple. Oh, okay. Uh, then hopefully the other guys here are quick enough to grab it. Yeah, I was say it's it's, it's going to be in the process of closing for this pass, and and so you you did tell Loxley to do something about the door, so we'll we'll see how that resolves as we get towards the end here. Okay, perfect. Uh, Whisper though, Whisper gets to go first or next. Um, so the guard has come out in response to smoke. There is smoke visible coming out of the restroom. Yeah, there is uh, both west restrooms actually. There's a bit of smoke uh, sort of coming out. Uh, the guard seems to be focused past you and, and Funky Town, as well as some of the other people are sort of turning and looking to see what's going on. All right. Uh, Whisper is going to look at the smoke and then head uh, head towards the exit because, hey, that's what you should do. And, okay. uh, yep, uh, when she reaches a certain point uh, here, she's going to, I'm going to uh, want to drop my own smoke grenade. All right. I thought Whisper was just being a good citizen, but no, here we go. What? <laughs> Maybe she's doing it a little faster than everybody else in here. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting seeing Whisper try to keep like a normal person pace. Yeah, but I, I'm going to move to here and drop uh, and just drop the smoke grenade at my feet. Yeah, here. totally. No, no problem. Uh, and just move there. And that Hopefully, should give us cover for whatever is going to happen here. And I have my motion sense on. Is this a normal smoke grenade or thermal smoke? Thermal smoke. Okay. Okay, that's what happened. Uh, okay. So, um, Bo, Whisper, Arachne, and Loxley, as uh, as a as a smoke grenade clings against the ground, and and begins to fume out into the into the ten meter um, radius. Uh, the, um, I mean, things things get hard to hard to see. Uh, Within the room itself, which doesn't have much as much smoke as, as it seems like it does, uh, we see two of the guards sort of fumble in confusion and shock. Uh, one of them, however, is is aware and is going to to raise his his weapon and uh, and try to actually shoot at the attacker, the terrorist, uh, which is Arachne. You're going to have partial cover because of the the door being in the position that it is. Sounds good. And I, I understand why he's calling me a terrorist. You know, when someone is wearing this on their head, yeah, it's kind of scary. Oh, and of course, the LinkedIn look. 
I the think it's external. Ramen. Could be. Is that her ballistic mask? Yes. You'll take a, you'll take a plus two to this uh, from from having partial cover. However, uh, it is a uh, a short burst, so uh, effectively you're at a minus one total. Minus one defense. Okay. Um. Do, do yeah. Let's do regular defense then. And then one modifier. Ooh, nice, made it. Uh yeah, yeah, the bolt the bolt kind of stings as it as it uh uh pierces some of your clothing but but doesn't find uh its mark. And you are okay. Uh Funky Town. Um a couple of bullets actually ricochet off the wall just to your left, but uh but you're up. All right, Funky Town's going to run up uh, to somewhere around here and uh, get take cover behind um, uh, behind a chair or so that he wants to be in the smoke, but uh, but still be able to take a look in the room, but but be behind some cover. Um, does he see any any icons for guns or anything like that? Um. Yes. Yeah. You see. Uh, you see the like dark red matrix icon indicating a, a dangerous dangerous device. Uh, you can you can see several uh, Ares alphas, uh, several predators. Um, yes, those are those are visible to you. All right. Well, then. Uh, he's going to try to gain a mark. Okay. Is this with brute force or hack on the fly? We're going brute force. All right. Um, oh, he's, we he's have, better at hack on the fly, but he's in attack mode. We have Ted, and and I want to I want to I want to do this right. So Ted actually gets to roll his own initiative. Oh yeah, good call. And you you had a conversation with Ted. Ted knows what's going on. So assuming he rolls a higher initiative than 15, which, I mean, he's essentially in, you know, the Matrix, so I'm sure he will here in a moment, uh, there's a good chance that he is, is prepped and ready to assist with your attack actions. Good going. Good, good call, Ted. So I guess we can leave it up to you. If you want him to assist with your actions, uh, I'm almost assuredly uh, going to score more than 15, and he can always do that. If you would like him to uh, do his own attack actions, then we can roll his initiative to see how many passes he gets. Um, he can do his own. Okay. Uh, then let me just double check. I want to say it's 46. For uh, for agents, I'm pretty sure it's 46, and since he's a rating six agent, plus 12. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see, what does Ted look like? Ted, right now, as he switched into his attack, you know, mode, is a shirtless man with a knife in his hands. I'm, I, I apologize in advance, Bo, if I'm just butchering your agent. It's okay. I'd rather watch him butcher other people. So. <laughs> Ted is his own person. Hold on a second. My daughter woke up. One second. Ah, uh, sure. All right, we'll, we'll we'll resolve him in just a moment. Actually, I can roll Ted's thing really. Quick. Cool. Um, all right, then that puts 
This guy next. This guy is continuing. Wait, he just heard shots. Um, he freezes, and he's he's confused as to what's happening. Uh, he is chained. Bo, Bo would go first. Bo, what's up? I'm just going to act really scared and pretend like I'm not a, an accomplice in this at all. And back. Sorry about that. Hey, no problem. Uh, uh, Ted got you four assist dice for your brute force action. All right. Uh, I was going to fork it. Are there two guns I can see? Yeah, you see two Ares Alphas uh, directly in front of you, actually. Okay. And that's one roll for forking, right? Yep. One roll, I make two defense checks against your, your threshold. Six hits, boy -y. Okay, you're looking at uh, three, oh, no, it's brute force. Uh, so you have a mark on the two Ares Alphas, as well as uh, you dish out a little bit of matrix damage to them. And uh, and basically you and Ted, you know, you like you like high five and then uh, you lunge forward with your 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 lance sort of spear thing. And he he lunges forward with a combat knife that materializes in his hand. And and both of you jab at these uh, these icons, leaving a leaving a mark in, in them. Hell yeah, we do. And um, uh, that would put we uh, us up to Loxley. Why is Arachne at 13? Oh, I hit the passing. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Uh, yep, up to Arachne. What? You mean Loxley? Uh, yeah, Loxley hasn't yep, actually gone yet. <laughs> That's what I meant, Loxley. Thank you. You said this guy in the bottom left here doesn't seem to know what's going on. This man is confused. He was heading towards the uh, restrooms. Uh, he just heard some some gunshots. A smoke, a, a third smoke has appeared. He is confused. Yeah, he seems like he's he like, all around. Okay. Um, I don't know if he'd consider Loxley a threat or not. I'm wondering if I can take him by surprise. I I would give it to you that he seems surprised right now. Um. Loxley's going to quick draw his taser from like the edge of the smoke and um called shot vitals, that guy. I think I can do that, right? Uh free action to called shot and it's technically a free action to quick draw, but you could you could essentially... Oh, I that. mean, I could regular try. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it just, just depends. it just depends how cool you want this to be. I mean, I'm pretty cool, so I feel like I want a quick draw. Yeah. Oh, uh, I wish that was my attack now. <laughs> right, now roll it again for the actual attack. And as like a silhouette, like Loxley's not a very intimidating looking person, right? He's kind of he's kind of lanky. He's kind of little, right? Yeah, he's he's short and thin. But like in the in the in the fluorescent lighting of this train station, uh, as as it as it interacts with the thermal smoke that Whisper has just laid, there's like this dark looming figure uh, that just sort of overwhelms this man's uh, this man's which, uh, the guard stature is somewhat big and bulky. Uh, and and as you step out of the smoke, you know, and that 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 shadow shrinks down to your actual size, uh, you know, we hear the zap of a taser as the the darts shoot out and and find their mark. What's the what's the damage on that? And. Uh, and yeah, a, a, a rather underwhelming physical appearance, but the uh, the taser finds its mark, zaps, and and he he convulses and, and sort of stumbles into the uh, the chairs there, uh, before rolling and then uh, landing on his back on the floor. Uh, 
And then Moxley's going to stay on the edge of the smoke. Right. Um, the door closes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> no. Bo was supposed to do something. Uh, keep in mind, Funky, you've got four... Uh, four dice for your next um, action, as long as it is as long as it is a com uh, uh, an attack action. And okay. uh, Arachne, you're standing inches away from a closed steel door. But it's a it's closed. I have no opposition to open it right now, right? Uh, you have no opposition to open it. Uh, like it's officially closed. Uh, I heard a click. Yeah, yeah. You you heard you heard a click. Okay, I go over here, I grab what's his name, let's drag him over here and use his hand. <laughs> Give me a lift and carry, yeah. This, this uh, good. Let's do lift and carry. That is just um, body, if I remember correctly. Body and strength. No? Body and strength. Body plus strength. Uh, you can actually take a plus one. As uh, as is standard with most security uniforms, this man has a drag handle. Ooh, nice. I like him. And then I'll need to know what your strength uh, score is as well. Ah, uh, it's a six. Okay. Uh, I believe that you described that as a drag. Um, so yeah, the uh, how much movement do you have? You have a whole bunch, right? Um, I have eighteen regular, and it's double if I do the run thing, I believe. Okay. Uh, you're you're going to use up about nine meters of that, but uh, you're you're able to drag him to the door. Uh, that that's going to be your your pass, though. I think I think that takes. Uh, and then quickly over D and I, I'm like Loxley, and then I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, but you've got the guard at the base of the door. Um, uh, motion. Uh, excuse me, whisper. You're up. Motion sense. Yeah, yeah, that's just to check if I can tell the door closed, which I can. Yep. Because um, it's within range. Um, that's just to test my um, resolution with it. Um, okay, uh, I'm doing uh, uh, simple action to turn on uh, elemental strike. And... Um, Wow. I knew I was going to do something <laughs> with my other simple action, but uh, the door's closed. It is. So, yeah, yeah, it is. All right, these entrances and things uh, that we came in, they're double doors, uh, whatever they haven't. Yeah. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to perceive just simple perception. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I'm not going to see very much. So never mind. I'm not really doing much because I did my movement acting casual. I didn't run. I've dropped the grenade. I've turned on my power. So we're pretty much done. Okay. Uh, around you. You know, you, you, you definitely hear the sounds of people scared. Uh, some people are, are running. Some people are just hurried, uh, sort of heading towards the exits. Uh, the, the small elf boy behind the counter is currently crouched down, and he's, uh, he's got his comm link to his, to his ear, and he's, uh, he's speaking into it with a, a, a hand cupped over his mouth. Oh, I totally know. They're calling the cops and the fire services and all the other people. Yeah. But I want to... Uh, yeah, most of them keeping track of they actually let people out. Okay, yeah, nobody's quite made it to the door yet. Yeah. Um, all right. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and let Funky Town go first while I decide how this happens. Uh, Funky Town is going to try to get him. Is there an icon for that door that just closed? So I'm going to brute force it. Yeah, so a couple of things are going to happen. 
Um, yes, you see an icon. It is obviously slave to the host for that door. Uh, you also lose the two marks you just obtained. Jerks. Well, that's what happened when uh, we left the door closed. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, you know, it's safe to assume that the Aries Alphas you had marks on were, were somewhere inside that room. But you do see a, you do see a, an icon on the lock. All right. Well, then I'm going to brute force it. Okay. And I get three extra from Ted. Uh, four extra for a brute force. Okay. And he's like, man, I really wanted to finish off those guns. Uh, I, you know, I guess we can hit a lock. Yeah, we're going to hit the lock, Ted. Let's do it. And you do. You get yourself a mark on the lock, you deal some damage. All right. I forgot Keep to it rolling, Ted. consider what was going to happen inside the room. Uh, Bo, you did a really important thing. You didn't, you didn't really do anything. And that was potentially yeah, important. These terrorists are attacking this train station, and I, as a member of this law firm, am not associated with the terrorists. Yeah. So, so one of the goons uh, is going to help uh, the one who has been webbed, and, and he's sort of helping claw at the material and, and get it off of his uh, off of the person. Uh, this one here, however, turns. And, and actually sort of reaches towards the terminal. Um, and he's going to hit a button. Um, elsewhere in the world. Some, some, uh, some people are moving and things are happening. The dragon is notified. The dragon has been called. So, Loxley, I heard you taste well with check ketchup. Is that true? No. Are you sure? But they're not going to shoot because yes. that's ridiculous. Wait, wait, wait. I always do that. Um, no, because it hasn't quite taken effect yet. So, that guy is unconscious. Take him off the list. Uh, Bo, you're up. Um, have they been saying anything to each other, the people inside, or is it all just been nonverbal? Uh, yeah, the one, the one that's webbed was like, "What the fuck? Get this trick off me!" And uh, the other, the other guy, as he's sort of clawing at the stuff on on the first guy, says, uh, "Shut it down! Shut it down!" And that's when the third one, without saying anything, sort of lunged in front of you and and hit hit a big button on the on the terminal. Okay, and nobody has made any aggressive actions towards me yet. Uh, the captain, the captain is, is sort of just like, he's got a hand over the, the cuff and he's just kind of rubbing his wrist, um, like paying very close attention to what's happening. The, the three goons, no, there's not been hostile intentions towards you other than the conversations we've had. Okay. Bo is going to continue to pretend to be scared. Actually, not really pretend he's going to continue to be scared and then move back into the room as if he's like cowering, like, you know, trying to get as far away from whatever goes going on as he can and kind of like bump up next to uh, our captain. Um, and he'll like, as he's doing that, he'll continue to be like, oh my God, what's going on? Help somebody, what are we doing? Um, and as he bumps into the captain, he's just kind of whisper to the captain, um, we're here to get you out. Okay. Yeah, you can slide down the bench and do that. Um, uh, let's make a, let's make a stealth roll. Uh, this can actually be stealth plus charisma. 
because you you you're attempting to to sort of pass this message subtly. Sure. And I'm um, gonna, let me figure out what that would be. Yeah, sure. Your ranks and your ranks itself plus your charisma, uh, and then I'm gonna give these guys a, a modifier for being distracted. I think, since they they feel like you're you're a threat in a weird way. They haven't really identified you as a combatant, so no, they're not they're not super concerned about you, but they're definitely trying to pay attention to a, a rather hectic scene happening around them. Um, can I use my social limit on that? Yeah, that seems that seems appropriate. I'm gonna post edge that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and roll their defenses now, and then we can see how it goes. This may have been the best decision ever. Okay. Uh, the captain. The captain. Just kind of. You see, like a shit eating, shit eating grin, and and he he whispers back, him or her. Ooh, creepy. Uh, will you let me respond? Yeah, yeah, you, you can you can respond. Um, I'm going to say, this is the sixth world. You really shouldn't try and, like, conform people to gender, uh, like, binary gender types. Um, so just try and keep that in mind in the future. Yeah, the, the, the grin kind of disappears. And uh, he just mouths the words, but you're you're able to kind of put it together. Um, he says, "Get bent." <laughs> okay. And uh, Loxley, it's your turn. Um, Loxley is going to uh, move back over over here and be like, "Sorry," and grab the guy's hand and put it on the wall. <laughs> okay. You're definitely not hearing the end of this while we ride to the other place after this. So did somebody just run in and run through the smoke to the door there? Uh, sorry, that's Ted. That's actually, he's only existing on the Matrix. That, that's an agent. Oh, okay. That's Monkey Town's agent. Okay, I was oh. wondering about that. <laughs> did somebody just there was did some crazed maniac with a knife <laughs> see some... the smoke and be like, now is my chance to stab some people. This is, <laughs> this is how neo-anarchists happen, right? They just see smoke and they're just like, yeah, let's rob this place. Uh, no, sorry, Ted is, Ted is Funky Town's uh, loner Matrix agent. Um, All right. All right, let me just go ahead and deduce some initiative. All right. Um, you uh, you spend your turn putting putting the thumb on the lock. Uh, it lights green. Um, tell me tell me how far you want the door to open. Um, probably like halfway. No, more than that. That second line that I... Well, I'll redraw. Oh, there. That one, I think, is good. Uh, Funky Town, you take two unresisted Matrix damage. Of course. Uh, Ted lashes out, says... I got it, and he swings uh, at the at the lock, uh, coming a little short, and uh, and some of the code sort of flies back. Uh, the knife fumbles out of his hand, and uh, and, and he goes, "Oh shit!" And and as as he's hit, you 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 feel the the reverberation into your your deck. Jeez, cool your jets, Ted. And uh, Arachne, you're up. Okay, uh, so let's take a peek. Um, what are these two guys doing? Oh, sorry, the door opens inward, but it's at about that angle, right? Oh, okay. There. <laughs> you uh, yeah, so... you take a peek inside. Um, yeah, you see you see one man hunched. The the, fr the man closest to you was hunched over a terminal. Um, he has like a a comms uh receiver up to his head now. Um. And he's speaking into it. 
Uh, the man that you had webbed is in the process of standing up. The web is is on the floor uh, and, sh- and you know shattered. Um, the one behind him is in the process of looking up in your direction, and and you know he has he has the, the rifle that he's in the in the slow motion process of raising now that you're you're back. Uh, you see Bo and and the captain huddled in the corner. Uh, like for a moment, you think Bo might be resting his head on on the captain's shoulder as the t- the two of them turn to look at you. Oh, okay, so the guy that's about to raise his rifle back at me, let's uh, let's send him some fire. All right. Oh yeah, that's definitely a good hit. Okay, that might do it. <laughs> So that would be 14S. Ooh, damn, no successes. Okay, five successes. That's all, not that bad. So no, 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 no. That was the soak. That was the soak. That oh. Was, yeah, he had no successes on his defense death um, because of the long burst. And then, uh, so that would be nine stun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... these guys are doing their job, so I don't want to kill them. Yeah, so you, you kind of pepper his chest with bullets, and, and, and he sort of his shoulders rock back as as the connection's made. He hits the wall, and a pitcher on it sort of slides down and cracks. And just as the pitcher's hitting the ground, he he also is sort of falling onto his butt. Um, he's he's down, but he's not out. You you've knocked him down. He he's hurting, uh, but um, but you can you can tell he's still conscious, barely. Okay, and th- this is for Bo. I got you, man. You're covered. Beautiful. Um, okay. Whisper, you're up. <sighs> this is when I rolled too many actions. <laughs> That's fair. You can do it. Um, I'm, well, I'm just, I'm, well, I guess I'm last. So uh, I'm not really, there's nobody else in the smoke. People are, look like they're heading out, but I can't see what they're doing. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the pass ended. Uh, so, so this happens. Uh, you, you, may, you may choose to react to this. I know you're waiting for it. Um, uh, a moment goes by and uh, metal shutters uh, appear and begin to uh, slide down in front of the windows near the uh, uh, the front of the train station here. All right. Um, are they, what I'm, okay, that, uh, what about the doors? As, as that's happening, some of the, some of the civilians are, are getting to the, to the vestibule doors. Um, and, and the first person that gets there actually just bam, right into the door okay. and, uh, and, and it doesn't open. All right. So I'm just gonna do a, Oops. Can't find it. So I just uh, already and I we're in lockdown. And then you're gonna you're gonna stay put for now. Uh yep. Okay. I'm not uh, they're gonna have to come by me if they come over here. Um, I can perceive all the doors uh, there, so. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, reroll initiative then. As uh, as Whisper is kind of on Overwatch, uh, taking note of the situation, the rest of you confined to uh, a rather small and cramped room. Uh, the captain uh, eagerly awaiting your uh, heroic rescue. Oh, God. Go faster. And I didn't have movement left, so.
Do we get an initiative from Luxley? Oh, sorry. And Arachne. Oh, right, new round. Let's get that set. I figured I wasn't going to do anything important anyway. He took one guy down. And you eventually got this door open. All right. Um, I hate to do it, Whisper. But it's your turn again. I know. I know. Um... I, I can just hold action until they go. Sure. I'm, yep. I'm in this. I'm waiting for them to either try and get by me or something else happen here. I expect that security guard by the door to maybe head over. Yeah. So, so the security, the the guard up here uh, is currently uh, telling people um, everybody needs to stop. Everybody needs to get down on the ground. Uh, essentially, commands like that. Um, okay. He he seems he seems to be paying attention to whatever the hell is happening in this smoke, but uh, but he's he's working really hard at trying to control this crowd. Uh, the two people from from the east over here, which you you can sense or or see uh, at the edge of the smoke, you know they they're kind well, of rushing in the direction that you're you're coming in. You imagine uh, that they they're coming your way. Why don't I? You know what? I'm going to do a sneaking test to kind of I know there's furniture under there, so that if Maybe they won't notice me yeah. or I'm not hidden when they come by. So definitely might as well do something there. So Oh Ted, right. Okay. So I'm just in the smoke, hidden by the, or kind of crouching by those chairs or whatever, so that I'm less noticeable. Yeah, there's there's a big support structure, uh, just a few paces away. You definitely sense it, and, and you're able to sort of uh, position up behind that and and, and lie in wait. Uh, Arachne, you're up again. Okay. Oh, uh, so one guy's pretty slumped. He looks not too good. Um, is one of them working on the computer right now? That look like he's like punching in commands or calling for help, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, the one the one closest to you is currently hunched over the computer. Okay, so we're gonna aim for him now. Okay. Uh, did you clear your recoil? Uh, yeah, uh, second hand. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so you got four net hits. That bumps, bumps you to 11 stun. Soaked four of it. So you'll deal, what is that, six damage? Seven damage? Uh, yeah. Seven damage. Seven damage. All right. Um, he kind of he grunts with the, uh, with the zap, um, but doesn't, uh, doesn't fall over like the first. Uh, one dice for you, Funky Town, when we get around to it, if you do an attack action. All right. Uh, first set of goons are going to get to go. Actually, this man wouldn't. He'll go beyond Loxley. Uh, but these guys... Uh, the one you just shot kind of yelps. Oh, um, five hits only. I forgot to do the minus one. Um, uh, turns and uh, and with his uh, service pistol uh, fires in your direction. This is just a straight defense check. Okay. Defense. Uh, so he gets one hit. Or no, he had six successes. Uh, no, it was actually five. I forgot to do... Because you, you were using the stick and shock, right? Right. Yep, so I forgot to account for the minus one. Uh, so with one with only one success, uh, that is 7S electric, minus five AP. Okay, minus five AP. Uh, 
armor is 21. Uh, so eight successes. All right, you soak it up. However, you're going to take a minus five to your initiative, and you'll be at a minus one for actions you take for this combat turn because of the electricity. Minus five, so that'll make me seven. Uh, the other one, now having their hands free, uh, will raise their rifle and uh, and fire it in your direction with a burst, uh, saying, get fragged! And uh, this will be at a, a cumulative now, um, minus six. Uh, excuse me, minus seven, because of the signature. Minus seven on the defense? Yeah, total. It's only one success on that one. That will be... Oh, let me see how many of those he can keep. Oh, they're good. Uh, 15 S electric minus 5. As the uh, the bullets of an assault rifle, um, not really having anywhere to go since you're standing in the doorway, mostly find their mark on you. Uh, so six successes on that one. All right, that'll leave nine stun. Oh, that's gonna hurt. What what is Arachne's physical limit? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Physical limit is. Unless you like the edge, obviously. Eight. Uh, okay. Um, right now, that'll be enough to send you backwards over the chair. The flopped over here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Loxy, you watch as Arachne shoots some some bullets inside, and then some some more bullets come back her way, and she goes spiraling over one of the chairs and uh, uh, gets knocked down. Uh, that is your action. So how many people are still on their feet inside shooting guns? Um, that's an interesting question. Uh, three people are conscious. Uh, one of them is, is currently in a seated position, looking very bad off. Uh, he did not fire his gun. Um, the other two are... One, one is also seated in a chair, firing a gun. And the, the one directly in front is standing, firing a gun. Okay. Um. One of them looks very, very wounded. One looks moderately wounded. One looks unharmed. Let's go for the moderately wounded. I'm guessing that's not the guy who's on the ground. The guy on the ground doing nothing is is the very, very wounded. Okay. Moderately so... wounded is the man sitting directly in front. Okay. So Loxley is going to. I guess simple action cover, sure. um, like partial cover, uh, free action vitals, shoot the guy in the front. Okay. Fire away. And it'll stick with five. Was that just immediately your soak roll? Yes, that was immediately okay. your soak, since I know you're doing it. You're doing <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, uh, between Arachne's damage and that, that's enough to send the uh, the front one down uh, into a, a convulsion. And uh, unconscious. Uh, all right, Whisper, you're right about there. Uh, these two are, are rushing past you. 
Um, they are unaware of your presence, and if you wanted to take your, your ready to action, you have it. Uh, I don't know if I have a ready to action. I use action to actually get hidden. Uh, I think if they move by, I could do take an intercept on the nearest one. Uh, yeah, you're actually right. actually my right. turn. Uh, we are, yeah, no, we're not quite through the initiative order yet. So, yeah, as as the first one then leaves your melee range, you're you're welcome to take an interrupt action if you would like. Uh, I action and attack. All right. So I just do. He is unaware of his uh, of his attacker. Well, that's gonna be tough for him. Uh, I'm going to do a sweep plus edge. Oh, that's not too good, but it's. I don't think he. Well. Yeah, you. yep, you get to keep all four of those hits. So, what, what kind right. of damage are we looking at? Uh, it's going to be uh, 10 stun. Uh, electrical, so he's gonna take the minus five on his init and the uh, one minus one on the pool. Is there any AP to this? Uh, no, I'm trying not to kill anybody. <laughs> noble, noble cause. Well, all right, uh, yeah, yeah, you connect. Um... And uh, and deal some damage to him there. Oh. Okay. Uh, what did I get on my perception roll? Oh, and uh, I got four successes, but that's uh, plus my six strength. Um, so that's ten hits for. Is that greater than his physical? Yep, it sure uh, limit? Then he's prone too. Cool. Yeah, you're a thud as as his face plants onto the ground. Uh, okay, cool. That changes some things then. Um, in that case, uh, the other one is going to raise his rifle, uh, but in the direction of of the doorway. And through the smoke, Loxley and and Funky Town, though uh, you're you're in the area, you can still see it. But Loxley and Arachne, um, you can see now. To your uh, to your right, um, that some security officers are there. One has just face planted, but the other one is raising his rifle, um, and he is going to attempt to command you. Unless you get a bowl of ramen, it's not going to work. <laughs> Essentially, what I want to do, because I don't want to take player agency away, is we're I'm, I'm going to have him tell you to stop and get on the ground and uh, it's, it's essentially just going to be an intimidation check and if he happens to succeed we're looking at negative dice pool modifiers for your next action if it doesn't comply with his request okay uh, what do I oppose with uh, this is opposed with charisma and willpower This will be towards um, Arachne and uh, Loxley. Nice. Uh, Funky Town, you're on deck. Start thinking about what you want to do. You have a plus one if it's an attack action. Oh wait, did you say it was against two of us? Uh, yeah. Should we have gotten a bonus then? Or does regular intimidate not work like that? Um, there are there are some fancy rules in there about it, uh, but thankfully uh, you both scored four hits. So All right. I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to feel bad about chipping the rule. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to look into that. Um, fuck it down, you're up. You you guys aren't aren't feeling the presence of uh, of the officer. All right. Uh, 
gonna gonna um, do a quick config first. Switch to uh, sl switch sleaze and attack, okay. and also um, also hammer to sneak. Oh, you've had hammer loaded. Yes. Okay. So I guess I guess I didn't think about that. If I had uh, those brute forces, would have done an extra two. Yep. It's it's not enough to change anything. It just I just needed to jot that down so that I know in case yeah. you deal any more damage. Well, I don't anymore. I switched hammer to sneak. So. Yep. It's all good. Um, and then for um, is it a simple action to tell Ted to do something? Yeah, essentially that'd be giving a command. All right, I'm going to tell Ted. Uh, I'm going to say, Ted, we're going to be working on these doors to get them open. Um, need your help. Okay. Uh, he gives you he gives you the salute, uh, but he needs to know whether we're doing it, you know, brute forcey or sleazy. We're, we're doing it on the sneak, Ted. Okay. All right. Um, okay, you have another simple this uh, this pass if you want to do anything. Uh, Funky Town is going to, um, from his cover there between the chairs, he's going to switch into Cold Sim. Okay, perfect. Uh, in, in, a, in a weird kind of uh, twist, you've you've complied with the officer's demand by yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just going possum, just going limp. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, noted. Um, yeah, I'll roll the two extra dice and add it if that's what you'd like me to do. Uh, oh, to your initiative. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Bo, you're up. Oh, okay. so who is still up in the room that I'm in? Uh, the man in the back is currently seated on the floor. He has his rifle up, but he's definitely close to going unconscious. Um, the man directly in front of you is still seated in a chair. Um, he is, is fully unharmed um, and looking quite angry. Uh, the captain is, is also conscious. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure what to do here. Oh, uh, what am I saying? I am a face and I have, I'm connected to my teammates again. So I am going to go uh, to all of my teammates and tell them that they um, are important, good people, and that they should never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Never surrender. Uh, so I'm going to okay. uh, rally my teammates. Yeah, it sounds like they're rallied, so you go ahead and roll them. This bit of arachne, is it from the speech or, or from the shooting pain? Um, I would have said it was from the tear gas. Oh, wait, no, that's <laughs> so, <laughs> just thermal. Sweet! Uh, so that's four, uh, four initiative to all of my teammates, except for me. All right. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, to be clear, I did that over D and I, and not. I didn't just like start yelling like inspirational quotes. Go team! Go team! <laughs> oh, sorry, I did my own. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead and adjust it appropriately. Thank you. Um, Ted. Ted also feels inspired since it was over D and I. Um, and you know he he he's got your back, Bo. Me and Ted make an awesome team. <laughs> oh, all right. The captain's not gonna. Well, no. Nah, this seems like a pretty cool time. Um, Bo, you watch as um, he transforms into a dragon. <laughs> the captain's hand uh, moves away from the uh, the cuff that's on his wrist, and and then the arm, the hand that's in the the cuff, also moves away from the cuff. Uh, and and he lunges forward towards the rifle of the guy that's that's nearly unconscious in front of him. Oh, the captain totally just got out of his cuffs, you mean? Yeah, the entire time that he was sitting there playing with his cuff was him picking the lock of the cuff. Cool, all right. Handy captain. And yeah, the captain lunges forward. Um, 
and deal some damage. Well, he only was in one box. Uh, he with, with just a strong right hook just sends the jaw of this man spiraling into the wall and uh, and he just slumps forward and then the captain uh, grabs the rifle and, and begins to raise it. It's nice when the people you're escorting aren't useless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Remember that for later. Oh, what was the bonus we got from the rally? Uh, I applied it to everybody. Okay. So um, with the shuffle there, uh, that puts Funky Town in the lead. Funky Town, you're slumped. You're feeling good. You're feeling. You're feeling inspired. Uh, Ted, Ted's charging, well, sneaking, tiptoeing towards the, uh, towards the door. Uh, although he hasn't had a chance to go yet. It's, it's, it's gotten awkward. You're faster than him now. Yeah, it's the way it should be. Um, is there an icon for the, for the door that we would leave through? Yeah, um, there's a couple, there's a couple things. Obviously, you know there's two sets of doors, uh, if you want to take the entrance. There's, there's shutters over the windows. Um, you see icons for all of it. All right, I'm 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 gonna um, I'm going to. You're gonna choose to make that sound. Yeah, I apologize for making that <laughs> choice. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I guess, uh, hack on the fly the shutters on the window. Okay. Okay, on the window. Cool. Go ahead and try to get a mark. This is obviously slave to the host. Ted, why didn't you go before me? So it's a bit of a gamble. Uh, you could hold your action until after until after Ted. Oh, that's true. Um, I think I I think I will do that. I hadn't considered that. I'd like to wait for Ted to help me. Okay. Yeah, you you guys are right in line. So really, it's I think it's it, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, Ted. Ted can sneak over, and he's like, "Mark it here," and he like whispers and, and points to a, a part of the icon. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Get those three extra dice. It's three. Yep, three from Ted. He'll now he'll now be assisting on sleaze actions. Yeah, seven hits. Good number. Oh man, I Good needed number. it. <laughs> yeah, you you follow Ted's advice. Thankfully, you were thinking you you had a really nice spot picked out, but you you're like, all right, Ted, and and you 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 know go for the the infiltration there, and sure enough, it sticks right as that the other spot sort of you know vulnerability ex uh, exposes itself, and you're like, shit, I would have gotten called over there. And you have a, you have one mark on the window shutters. Excellent. Whisper, you are up. Okay, I'm going to move and sweep the other guy. All right. Yeah, gosh, that was a glitch, too. Uh, I gave him a couple of extra dice towards his perception this time to see if he could figure out what's going on but he's actually still unaware of you as you're you're slipping through this uh this thermal smoke you know mostly relying on your adept prowess you uh, you manage to find and, and infiltrate him and yeah you get you get those hits okay uh that turns into 12 uh stun uh no ap he loses the five initiative and minus one on his uh minus one for everything except defense tests. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, and that will definitely knock him down with, uh, you did another sweep. 
Yep. So that's 12. Uh, it's 12 hits on, as a oh, yeah. higher than his physical limit. He's no, this gone. guy works out. This guy works out, but he's not, he's not that good. You, you put him on his butt and, um, yeah, he's, he's looking pretty hurt. Uh, Loxley, we're moving on to you. I believe you're actually standing All right. in the doorway since you just fired there. Yeah. But yep, there you are. Well, there's one more guy inside there, right? Yeah, you just saw the captain do that. Uh, and yeah, you see one more guy. All he's... right, well, I guess I'll take aim at him. In the slow and, motionness uh... of the of the scene, the guy the guy that's left in that chair is actually spir- spinning towards the captain uh, with his weapon and is about to, is about to try to shoot. Yep, take aim, vitals. Oh, that's terrible. Well, uh, give me a second to consider. Okay, this is the uninjured target. Yeah. All right, I'll wait. And seven's my limit. All right. Well, actually, we'll eight's my the, limit. Uh, but... We'll keep the original two. All right. Um. So it's thirteen s. Electric minus five, just enough. Yeah, you uh, you you send out the zaps, and and it's enough to put him down. And then I'll walk into the room. No, I'll strut into the room. <laughs> Rightfully, <laughs> so. you let go with your other hand of the the limp arm that you hadn't let go of yet that you used to open up the uh the the door, and with a thud, it hits the ground as you step into the room. Do you have a you have a, a one liner for for this occasion? No, no, I don't. <laughs> Loxley's just like, <laughs> hey, what's up? All right, they are out of combat. Uh, these guys, gosh, they're in a world of hurt. Let's see what see what they can do. Okay, they can stand. That is a start. Uh, they they both expend a simple action. Nope, I forgot wounds. Let me double check. Yep, they can still stand. <laughs> they stand up. Um, and they are going to try to try to get away from whatever the heck is happening. I was about to say. These guys are like hardcore mofos if they're going to keep on keeping on. Well, they don't quite know what the scene is inside the room, but like whatever mysterious force is like swooping around and just drop kicking them. Yeah, they're not they're not <laughs> liking it. Uh Whisper, you 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 can see as these two they they head off in different directions. Uh they're they're attempting to sort of um run uh in case you want to do anything about it. So just to check this, if I do the intercept, that takes five off of my admit. Do I have that available? Uh, you're currently at 14. And until the end of the pass, you are at 14. If you take five off of your initiative, it'll drop you to nine. And then at the end of the pass, you'll drop 10 to a total of minus one. So if you, if you take an interrupt action, you will not have a pass in the next initiative pass. Well, either I'm, uh, I'd rather, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take them around. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I could, I could suggest something to you as, uh, uh, something that one of my characters would have loved to have done. Um, uh, I, I'm willing to let you do it. I'm not entirely sure I have to look. You could, you could essentially, um, split your dice pool to multiple attack and, and actually hit both since they're both leaving your, your threat range. I'd allow you to do that. Well, it sounds cool, but uh, uh, actually, I just want to get the one that's uh, there's one that's heading towards where the rest of my team is. There is, yeah, you could tell. And so I'm gonna focus on him, and I'll just do an attack on him. Okay. We will just do a normal. Uh. Yeah. 
Okay. You get uh, two successes. Okay. Uh, he so just uh, eight stun. Um, he takes another minus five on his init and the minus one for another turn. All right. Yeah, you give him a bit of a, a boot to the ass as he as he uh, starts heading this direction. Oh god, I just stretched him. <laughs> that was me. I did that. <laughs> yeah. And then he is going to also follow Loxley into this room. No, Loxley's moment of uh, triumph, and then the security guard steps in behind him with the rifle and shoots him in the back. <laughs> it's, it's dead. Um. Okay. And then two things are going to happen at once. The guard you chose to let uh, head north uh, turns and screams everybody down. And he is going to unleash suppressive fire in the direction of the smoke. The guard inside the room is going to uh, basically proclaim what the hell is going on here. And he is going to shoot into Loxley's back. We'll, uh, we'll resolve the uh, shot on Loxley first. That's taken into geez, that's taken into account his wounds plus the minus one you're giving him for for zapping him with the electric. Uh, that is against Loxley. Standard standard defense. I need a second to think. Sure. I should have pre-edged. Wow, he's pretty good on that suppression. Yeah, that was nuts. So while, while Loxley thinks about his uh, his fate, uh, Whisper, uh, Rackney, you're actually prone. Uh, Funky Town, you're actually kind of prone too, aren't you? Mm -hmm. uh, Whisper, yeah. Uh, you have you have but a moment to react to suppression. Well, this is interesting, but I'll roll. Okay, so I got two. Okay. I'm going to... Yeah. It. Did you say eat it? No. Well, he's gonna. It's they've been. Well, actually, I don't know what they've been shooting. Um, you, you, you definitely saw. Uh, you've seen a mix of of uh, nice looking assault rifles, as well as some of the guards only carrying uh, uh, pistols of of some variety. Right, but I don't know what ammo load. Or... Right, correct. You haven't been shot yet. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I would be rolled nice and get three successes. Is it worth it? Uh, no, no. I'm rolling this because I chose not to go prone, so I can't make that decision now. Right. Yeah. You've you've committed to standing oh. there. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to reroll failures, which is kind of weird to edge an edge roll. Okay, I'm standing in this hail of gunfire, and cool. it misses me. Yeah, it, it, things are pinging off the column near you, and you can hear the the leather seats being being ripped to shreds. Wow. But uh, you are you are unscathed. Loxy's gonna take some stun, <laughs> but he's okay. Uh, Bo, you're up. Uh, Bo is going to DNI to Funky Town and say, there's a time for daring and there's a time for caution. And a wise man like you, Funky Town, understands which is called for. And he's going to leadership uh, Funky Town. All right. Are we going for more initiative or are we going for... Uh, uh, no, this is, so I'm focusing on, I can rally everyone or I can leadership direct one person. Cool. Ted, Ted sends you a quick message. What, what, what about me? What, what about me? I thought about doing Ted, but it felt a little bit watered down to give Ted extra dice so that he could give Funky Town more dice. <laughs> Are you going to explain <laughs> that to Ted? Because he's hearing a really cool speech that you're not directing towards Ted right now. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so take your rank or take your, your rank in this whatever your next skill is uh, from those successes. All right, uh, we'll remind you of that in a moment. Arachne, you are up first. There are bullets flying right above your head right now. Uh, we're going to stay down for a bit. I'm going to reach into my ninja fanny pack and I'm going to pull out a stim patch. Is that a simple or complex? Do you have gear access? Yes. Will you forever commit to the fact that you have a stim patch and gear access? Um, let me double check because that is in my armor. Uh, no, that is not in my armor, which has the gear access. So that's my fanny pack. Okay. Yes, a fanny pack would mean a simple action to to take it, to have it. Okay, in your let's hand. do that. Do I need to make a medical roll for it, or does it just apply six? Stim patches? Yeah, it applies its rating in healed stun damage. Okay, perfect. And we'll do that. And okay. you said that's just a simple? Uh, a simple to retrieve it, and then a simple to apply it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, awesome. Then I am good for now. Okay, yeah, and you heal yourself six. All right, uh, Funky Town, you're gonna let Ted lead the way again with a sleaze assist. Um, yeah, we're uh, yeah. Okay, uh, you're up. What what action would you like to perform now? I want to. Um, can I see the Can I see the icon of the guy that just went inside the security room? Uh, yeah, you can. The door's still open. All right, I want to fork. Um, Hack on the flies on him, his gun, and the uh, suppressive fire guy's guns. Okay. Or, or just as one gun. Sounds good. So you have you have a six in hacking. You can definitely keep all of Bo's help. Uh, you also are getting Ted's help. Who's like, oh, oh, we're doing the guns now? Cool. And and like turns and slashes at the one near him. Uh, so that is a total of plus nine to uh, uh, to this roll. I'll um. I'll tell you that this might be an opportunity to to potentially go for two or three marks. Oh yeah, I wanted. I was thinking about doing that anyway, and I meant to ask for you to remind me how that works. It's just a mod dice modifier, right? Yeah, I believe without the quality uh, to go for two, you would take a minus six, and to go for three, you would take a minus ten to the dice pool. All right, I'll go for two. Okay. On both of these mugs. Yeah, so you're you're still getting a plus three to your roll uh, because of your teammate. This is definitely a good time to 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 gamble a bit. Five hits on both of them. All right, you've gotten two marks on on both of the guns. Um, I'd like to ask if I'd like to find out since I get some quest two questions on at least one of them. I'd like to find out if they're slaved to anything. Um, yeah, you actually you actually have three marks on uh, the host at this point. Nice. And so they are slaved to the host then. Okay, and uh, I don't really care about anything else. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and everybody select your token and roll initiative again. Does that minus one go away? Was it just for the end of the rest of that combat turn? Or How many times did you get shot? A... Just the ones. Um, I want to say it only lasts a combat turn, and then if you get shot again, it, it applies to the next combat turn. That is correct. I just don't know what the ruling is since I didn't actually act again. 
yeah, it, 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 we'll say it applies to this combat turn, essentially, since it happened at the end. It, it'll apply until the final round of this combat turn, since that'll be a full three seconds. Okay. All right. Ted does some sleaze prep. Uh, Whisper, you're up. Okay. Um, this guy's doing suppressive fire through here. Uh, did he hit any of these poor people at the other side of the smoke? Um, yeah, they're, I mean, it, it might be a little hard to tell in the chaos, but yeah. you're, you're pretty sure people are, people are getting hit right now and are, are dropping, dropping to the ground. Oh, I'm tempted to be really evil, but, uh, no, that's me, not whisper. Uh, so this one guy is shooting uh, blindly into everywhere. Yeah, sort of, sort of into the smoke and and trying to get people get that situation under control. Uh, I'm just gonna to try commanding voice on him. To stop shooting, because innocent people might get hurt. But mostly, it's the stop shooting part. <laughs> sure. There's not quite the conviction behind the innocent people part. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure they're innocent. <laughs> we haven't judged them yet. Yeah, we we haven't we haven't got to meet or be encounter. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna do that, and it's. Uh, so that's willpower uh, and intuition, right? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. One hit. I should have done like, oh, you must see your target, but uh, Whisper knows nothing about firearms. <laughs> um, if not, if it's maybe he's gonna reload. Who knows? Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I yeah, I like it. The, the suppression, the suppression does end. Uh, and you're free to move if you'd like. Otherwise, Arachne, you are up. Yeah, I'm choosing not to move at this time. <clears throat> okay. Um, so this guy that has his back towards me. Uh, he does, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to stay in the position I still am, take my SMG, line it up, and fire in his back. Is there a penalty for firing prone? Um, I don't think so. I think melee attacking prone as a penalty. I don't believe firing does. So you're yeah. you're only suffering your wounds. Okay, we're gonna make a call shot again to a vital area. I mean Loxley thankfully, you know, dropped the dropped the arm of the dude or the body of the dude into the into the doorway as well. So the the door didn't actually close behind you, your teammates yet again. Yeah, I was gonna ask about that. <laughs> You might have forgotten to say it, but I don't think Loxley would make the mistake twice. There we go. That should be a nice, sufficient hit on him. Uh, yeah, you're looking at five. All right, you uh, you put some some zap into his ass. Uh, it doesn't quite go down though. Uh, Funky Town, you are up. You have a plus six if you cho choose to take a sleaze action again. So uh, it's a free action to eject clips with a control device, right? It would be up. Looking for one right. dead hit. Yeah, I'm going to fork a control device and uh, do that. All right.
six hits. Yeah. What? <laughs> Remarkably, uh, one one does not land. Uh, Ted's, however, uh, does, and in the clip spirals out of the uh, the magazine of the guy that that was laying down suppression fire. Well, at least there's that. Um, so that was a free action. Uh, is it? Um, am I able to control? The, use a control device to open the shutters or am I going to have to somehow like spoof a command or something? Uh, you'll know from the matrix knowledge that, that Funky Town has, uh, you're going to need to spoof a command because the shutters themselves don't allow for that control. It's completely controlled by the host itself. Sure. That's kind of uh, what I was thinking. Of which so you've I, got marks on, thankfully. Yeah. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, do that next, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I used a free action to do the thing, and then I've oh, got a complex no, left. not quite like that. Not quite like that, no, sorry. It's a uh, oh. control device. Oh, God. So the marks required is based... I, gosh, I, I guess, does that make that a free action? Um, no, it depends on what the, it depends on what the action would have taken to perform uh, otherwise, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Yeah. Um, interesting. I didn't, I didn't think I interpreted it like that, but it, it definitely reads like it. Yeah. So you, you still have a complex. Uh, I'm going to remind Funky Town of a thing, um, right after you do this action. I know what you're going to remind me of, and that's why I was hoping that I could uh, control device, because I would be able to check my Overwatch score. <laughs> uh, do you have do you have baby monitor, or do you need to actually perform check Overwatch? I do not typically run baby monitor. Okay. Seven hits. I think it's appropriate, and I'll explain why afterwards. Yeah. This is for the spoof. Yep. What command are you attempting to spoof? Open the shutters. The shutters fly open. Now, I have to pull up a thing that I have not used uh, in a while. Resist for me. With your device yeah. rating plus firewall, 12 matrix damage. I knew I was right in the line there. Uh, it's a little unfair, and and I, I only want to do it because everybody learns it this way. Uh, performing matrix actions, especially illegal ones, with the assistance of an agent doubles the overwatch you accumulate. Oh, I didn't know that. What? Rough. The agent is running off of his deck. It is performing an equal amount of illegal actions and has thus generates the Overwatch as well. Dead. All right, what do I need to do? Um... Device rating plus firewall. You're resisting 12. Is it specifically like everything you do, the Overwatch is doubled, or is it just that you get the agent's Overwatch? Uh, the the Overwatch is doubled is how, is how I roll it. Okay. Is how most of us roll it. That makes sense, uh, because otherwise you could cheese it by just always having it assist and nothing opposes the assist. Right, yeah. It, it's a powerful tool to have at your side, an extra 12 dice, but uh, it comes with a, a danger. And, and, and then also forking things is obviously, you know, a bit dangerous too. Yeah. Uh, the device rating of your deck, I believe, is 3. Yeah, it is. I got it. Okay. That is eight. Uh, if you want to, I'm going that. to. I'm gonna post edge so that hopefully I don't have to go deckless for the rest of this run. Okay. Yeah, I'll remind you. you. Took what was it two before? 
Yep. No, I took three before because I also have a, uh, I also have virtual machine running. Oh, that's right. Thank you for keeping yourself on it. All right, oh, so that's... that is seven then total. Not enough to keep it from getting uh, bricked again. Yeah, so ten. Uh, your base rating is two, rounded up. You have ten. So yeah, unfortunately, that is just enough to brick, uh, brick the deck. Uh, that's really a shame. I no, you know what? Um, you get to see it anyways. Um, what uh, what grid are you currently on? Uh, I hadn't really thought about that. Um, I guess it would have been. I guess he didn't have any reason to be on any particular grid. Uh, well, no, he would have been on. He would have been on. He's got a subscription. Hold on. It's probably Neonet. I'm not even gonna look. It's Neonet. Okay, that's like the one that I don't know. Of course. Uh, so so essentially, what happens in, in a, a, a just a moment's notice? Uh, you watch as the the blue skies above you uh, within the virtual reality um, quickly just everything all the traffic just clears within a, like almost an infinite radius of you. Uh, no traffic is sent, no traffic is received around you. The data trails stop. Uh, everything is just frozen, and in that split moment, just a, a bolt of lightning strikes you, and uh, and and for a second you think you see just the image of of uh, sort of like the the wizard of oz the 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 man the man in the machine like you see that you see that kind of wizard of oz face um and and then and then you're just gone and and you you're you're going to then soak for me six stun six stun from dump shock and cold sim and that's with just your willpower now because your your deck is no longer providing its firewall Five stun. As you, you know, spit up a little bit of blood, uh, being dumped back into reality suddenly. Reality suddenly. Oh, it hurts. Okay. Uh, the shutters, however, are open. Got the job done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this man is going to fumble and attempt to uh, get his his gear operational. Essentially uh, wasting his turn. Uh, the man on the inside, uh, I believe his clip was okay. Yep. Um, Arachne just shot him. He's gonna, he's gonna fire again. Um, towards, towards Loxley. He, he saw that that worked. Did you say Loxley? Sorry. Yeah, uh, I was deciding who the guy's going to shoot at. He's, he's going to shoot at you again. I've just oh. got to confirm. Great. I've got to make sure that I get his uh, his dice pool right. Hopefully it's less now. Uh, it is, yeah. Uh, he, he's got shot with stick and shot. Dear Christ, I'm sorry. Huh. This is why we play dice games. This is this is at a minus three after uh, after he switches into burst mode. <laughs> Not a bad defense roll. All right, well, I'm taking the four this time. Uh, 13. You sure he had a limit of eight. Uh, oh no, you're right. It was only seven. Uh, so that'll be twelve S, uh, minus five AP. Thanks. That'll be that'll be six. Unless you want to edge. 
You do. Um, That'll be five. Which keeps me conscious, at least. Okay. All right, Arachne, somebody outside awakens. Um, God, the situation is getting kind of crazy in here. Okay, uh, this guard is ineffective. He begins to lose control of the situation. Uh, I got a whole bunch of people at 11. Let's go ahead and start with Loxley. Uh, Loxley's not at 11 anymore. He's at 6 now. Uh, that was Stick and Shock, right? Yep, that was Stick and Shock. Oh, I actually did the guard out of order. But now he would have just shot you, so it all works. Uh, but well, would he? Um, what do you or mean, would Loxley he... have shot him first? Oh, uh, they were that... both at eleven. Oh yeah, actually, I think that's a really good point. Did I did I do that right? Yeah, yeah. He he, you would have gotten to go first. All right. Um, in that case. Let me see if I can save myself. Yep. Loxley was already planning on saying, Ow! <laughs> and then drawing his uh, Savalette Guardian, which is loaded with um, plushette rounds, and uh, vitaling him with that. All right. Yeah, go ahead and take your edge point back, uh, adjust your wound modifiers, and, and let her rip. I'll stick with five. Any penalty to his defense? Yeah, minus two. It's all there in the chat. Oh, sorry, I didn't read. Yep, that is four net hit. All right, so. All right, yep, that, that will be enough. You pepper his chest with flechette. And he's going to uh, collapse onto the unconscious guy in the doorway, uh, sort of making the door doorway a bit uh, a bit clustered. Uh, that does drastically change things when you when you take initiative account uh, or into account. Yes. Uh, and now it is Booster. Just letting you know, I updated my initiative for not being in cold sim anymore. Ah, thanks. Um, Bo is going to go over DNI to everybody and say, Oh, Captain, my Captain, rise up and hear the bell. <laughs> for bouquets and ribbon wreaths are waiting for you on the shores of crowding. And he's going to rally everybody. <laughs> okay. Uh, oops, did my Captain's initiative not stick? All right, so everybody take a plus one to their initiative. I'm going to go ahead and ed uh, edit everybody's. Uh, you're editing? Oh, you're doing it. Okay. All right. Um, all right, the captain, captain went ahead of turn. So he's got the, he's got the assault rifle in his hands. Um, he's going to, He's going to look at Loxley, um, and then he shifts and he takes aim at Bo. This asshole. And then he says, uh, with a bit of a grind, a grit to his teeth, he says, him or her. And I'll allow you to respond if you choose to. Um... 
I will say it's her. It's her. Actually, wait, before I do that, can I do a quick <laughs> judge intentions to see if like there's one of the ones he is looking for? Yes. Take a take a minus three unless you can convince me why you might think you know. Um you can tell me if this is accurate. I think I think it might be her because the captain told us this guy might be flipped. So if that is correct, you can tell me to take off the minus three. If it's not correct, I'll keep this. Uh, let's keep it spicy. Roll your judge intentions, and I'll decide if the minus three happens. Oh, so you want me to just roll a full, and you can take them off at the end? Yep, I'll decide. Okay, hold on. I already added in the, the modifier. Nice. You judge them intentions. Uh, there is a, yeah, there is a noticeable, probably to Bo, uh, a, a a tinge of of hope that she sent you. Yeah, and then with my suspicion, I'll say it. Her, her. And you and Loxley watch as his finger, which was inching towards the trigger, uh, then comes to the to the you know straight rest position. He says, well, "What the frag are we doing talking? Let's get out of here." And he, uh, you know, he readies the the strap of the rifle over over his shoulder uh, and checks the clip, uh, looking for your your direction. Um, and I believe. We could probably drop initiative. As KE shows up. No. Uh tell me tell me what you guys want to do. I would immediately, after I got out of the matrix uh, and wiped my nose, I would have said, out the window, the window's open, out the window. Okay, hey, sounds good on that command. I'm gonna send a command to my clothing. I'm gonna change what they appear to look like. It's gonna be a different color, business attire. Completely different from when I walked out the, the, in the door. Same thing with my helmet. Spider motif is gone. And I'm going to run out like a screaming little girl. Oh my god, there's people with guns! Where do you Hell run out? out? Here. Uh, wherever one of these things opened up. Oh, okay. Dive so, through the window. Yeah, I was, <laughs> was going to say, he, he, he removed the, the metal shutters uh, over the window. The window exists. But these are oh okay we're going for oh uh, wait are these guys still here? Uh, they are. They they they're aware that you were there. However, they they've kind of lost control of some of the public, and they're 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 seemingly not willing to engage you. They're 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 trying desperately to control the situation that they can control, and they're hoping that you don't decide to kill them. Oh, I'm fine with that. I'm a professional. I don't need to kill them. I'm out of here. All right. The the door doesn't open when you walk into it. Ah! Funky Town, Town draws his pistol and shoots it at the uh, at the window. <laughs> right. It t it takes four or five shots, uh, but the uh, the window eventually begins to shatter, and then you're able to sort of kick at it and uh, and, and and get yourself a, a way out. Uh, Funky Town's running on adrenaline right now. So yeah, no, and, and this might be the first time you've shot this pistol. He's 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 practiced. He's right, but like you see, they're like the the shells, the cases, uh, sort of as as they they sort of pop out of the top of the pistol and and begin to clatter uh, down and onto the ground. And each each time you squeeze the trigger, you hear shrieks of terror coming from from the people around you. But you, you eventually. <laughs> He feels bad about that for a second, but then jumps through the window. Yeah, you, you shatter through onto the, the cold, frigid night. I imagine everybody's following. Yeah. Um, Look, everybody, a way out! Let's go. <laughs> um. I uh, uh, I want to use commanding voice, target someone in the public, and go, hey, you can get out, get out through the window! So that uh, there's a whole bunch of civilians running out with okay. us. And me. Yeah, totally.
Arachne, as you clear to the sidewalk and, and look around, you see uh you see Mark kind of like rubbing the back of his head, uh walking down the sidewalk in the direction of the, the train station. Aw, oh, poor Mark. Um, I'm gonna DNI to everybody really quickly and say um the captain is flipped. He's not working for our Johnson Johnson anybody anymore. Nobody talk about who hired us. Okay, what? Where are we going from here? Hey guys, I got a question, and I should have asked this sooner, but the people that have the container of goods or stuff, uh, and this is over DNI, uh, are they the same security people that arrested him here at this train station, so that they might like talk to each other or something? No, the security here is the train station security. Right? Nobody knows who the security company for the warehouse is. Yeah, it, we it just seems, know what it seems, was for this place. It seems likely, based on their numbers, that these people must definitely have a security contract with the uh, King Street Station. All right, well, I'm... Getting in, I don't uh, at this point since Funky Town was already worried about it. I need someone to drive my car so that on the way I can uh, be repairing my deck. I'll okay. Drive. Yep. We need we to need make to our way. We need to head there now and see if there's still time for us to do this. Actually, if we're heading towards the docks, uh, I got a a first aid kit. I can maybe patch a few people up while we drive. Thanks. Come in the car with me <laughs> oh likewise if uh we need to dual uh double team on this you want to run a train on funky down is that, I, I didn't follow <laughs> yep, that's, uh, yep. Uh, all right so you guys with whisper whispers uh commanding shout people begin to push past and uh, and file through the window. The guards sort of losing control. Uh, a, a few a few spare shots can be heard uh, as as they attempt to to regain control of the situation. But you know that magical force compelling these people to just continue to run, uh, even against the bullets. Uh, people, so a few manage to make it past, and uh, and and sort of just uh-huh. run into the into the parking lot and then in, into downtown. Um, you know, five six people though just get mowed down. And, and subdued, as it were. Uh, you guys file into your cars, uh, you know, uh, probably fleeing the scene, I assume, before applying for a state. Yes. Yeah. Do it in the car. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Where where are we heading? Um, it's it's uh it's about three. Uh, three eighteen in the morning. By the time I you... have an important question before we head anyway. Um, that is, do stick and shock wounds count as gunshot wounds? Yeah. Okay. You got shot with a gun. Yeah. Got There's some... still the impact damage, all that kind of stuff. You've got some big old welts going up your spine. And did someone else say they were good at first aid? Let's go ahead and oh, take a yeah. let's go ahead and take a quick five minute break. Actually, let's just make it a four minute break because uh, I know we're uh, we're pushing the time. So a quick four minute break, and then we can handle the logistics of of first aiding uh, during that, or or just prior to, or just after we get back. But it, it's uh, twenty past the hour now. Let's try to quickly be back about twenty five past at the at the latest. Hour. Okay.